Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a quick video for you where we're going to be looking at how to interact with our web camera or, or any other camera devices on our system uh, using JavaScript and the um, browser. So you can see here I've got a stream of this video um, of me in the browser. We can also take a photograph here and I'll just capture a still of the uh, actual stream and uh, present it in the canvas down here. Okay, so yes, uh, interesting little project really. Probably uh, can find some uses for this in some of the apps you're building. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Cheers, guys. Okay, guys, so to get started, I'm just going to show you what we're going to be using to interact with our web camera on our system. So we have this API available to us in the, uh, in the browser called Media Devices. Um, so it's basically just like an interface which provides us with access to connected media input devices like cameras and microphones. Um, and attached to this media devices API we have this enumerate devices function. So this page just obtains an array of information about the media input and output devices available on our current system we're using. Okay, so if I come to VS Code, you can see I've got a new project open here. It's just called camera, I've just got an empty index.html file and an empty app.js file. Um, let's just get a boilerplate going. I'm going to connect our JavaScript file. So I need to come into the body. We'll just say script source and we'll just say app.js, app.js, like so. And then if I save that, and then we'll just open this in live server. Okay, now I'm going to open our dev tools. And then if we go to the console, we're just going to be using this. Uh, media devices API which is part of the navigator object okay so if we come into our live server again I'm just going to say navigator then we're going to say dot um, media devices and then we're going to say dot enumerate devices okay now this is an asynchronous function so we're going to have to just do a this is going to a promise a return of all the devices okay so we just say dot then at the end here and we'll just say devices so the devices it returns and then we're just going to console.log each of those devices. Okay, so now you can see there's our promise and it's been resolved and we have our six uh, available devices listed here. As you can see if we expand on these, we have an audio input here, internal microphone, um, another audio input, uh, video input, which is the FaceTime camera on this. I'm using the MacBook Pro here. And then we also have another audio input, a Telestream audio capture, that's just a download I use. And again, the internal speakers, okay? So the, the uh, input we're going to be interacting with here is uh, this video input, okay? So let's just uh, close this down a bit. Shut this for now. Okay, now let's get a camera going. So if we come to our index.html file, here, like so. Um, what we want to do here first is I'm just going to come down to the body and we'll say here that we want a video input and the source, no, the, not the source, sorry, the ID of this is going to be video, like so. And then I'm going to say here a width. Um, of 640 pixels. Just getting the aspect ratio of our face of our FaceTime camera on our MacBook. And we're going to say height of 480 pixels as well. Okay, and then here we we'll just say auto play as well. Okay, and then coming underneath this, let's make that a bit bigger. Um, we're going to say we want a button under here, so say button, and then we'll just give this an ID of snap. This is going to be used just to take a photo and render it to a canvas, and we'll just say uh, take photo. And then come under this, we need to add a canvas, so we'll say canvas. And here, uh, we'll just give this an ID of canvas as well. And then after that, we're going to say, again, a width of 640 pixels, same as our camera or our video, and a height of 480 pixels, like so. 
And then that's, that's basically it for our HTML file. Okay, so you can see we've got our take photo button down there. Uh, next we need to do is come into app.js file. And then within here, first thing we need to do is just um, select our elements. Okay, so the first thing we want to select is our canvas. So I'll just say let canvas equal document dot query selector. And then we'll just say dot canvas. And then come underneath that, we'll say, so with a canvas, we need to initialize a context as well. So we'll just say let context. That's going to say equal uh, the canvas we just selected. And then we're just going to say get context. Like so. And then we just add a 2D context. Okay. And then underneath that, we're just going to say let video equal document dot query selector. And we just gave this a, oh, these are IDs. I need to change that. Okay. So change these to a hashtag, not a dot. And then query selector, and then we just say hashtag video, like so. Okay, so that's it for our selectors. Um, next thing we want to do here is we're just going to say um, we're going to say if, and then navigator dot media devices. So if there are media devices available, um, and then we can also say uh, navigator dot and then we can say media devices again and then we, here we have another function called get user media like so um, and then come underneath that we're just going to say uh, navigator dot media devices And then we're going to say um, dot get user media, and what this does, this is basically a method which allows us to select. It gives us um, a chance to input what type of media we want to retrieve or stream in our app. Okay, so here we want to uh, grab the video media. Okay, so I'm just going to say in here uh, video, and that's going to equal true. So it takes an object, okay, and you just say video true. You could also um, add sound in here and say true as well, but we don't want that, we just want video for this uh, tutorial. Um, and then after that, we're going to say dot then, because this is a, uh, asynchronous, and then we're going to take that video stream, okay, which we're obtaining from this video object, and then we're just going to say here, come underneath that, and then we're going to say uh, video, which is what we selected up here, dot source, um, object and that's going to equal um, the stream okay so that's the, what we uh, get grabbed from here the stream and then we're going to say underneath that video dot play like so I'll say that you can see there's my face on the screen there so that's all working great Okay, so what's going on here, just to recap, we're saying if there are media devices available, we're going to use a navigator object to get the video uh, media which is available on our system, and then we're going to take that video stream, pass it into a callback function, and we're going to say, we're going to set this video source to the stream of this video, and then we're going to play that back in the browser. Okay, that's all that's going on here. And then to take a photo, so we're going to come under here and create another function. We're just going to say, uh, document dot get element we'll say get element by ID and we give us an ID of snap and here we're just going to say dot add event listener and then we want to listen out for a click okay and then that's going to trigger this function here that we create and we're just going to say in here uh, context so that's in this that should be context so selecting our um, canvas down here and then we're just going to say dot draw image okay and we want to basically take in our video so we want to screenshot the video which is this part here and then we're just going to fill it out to the actual size of the canvas okay so we're going to say we want to start at zero coordinates and 
zero on the x-axis, zero on the y-axis, which is the top left of the canvas. And then we want to stretch it out by 640 pixels and a height of 480 pixels. Okay. And then that should pretty much be it. We should be able to take a picture now. So if I make this larger, I press take photo, and you can see there's my ugly mug there on the screen. Yep, so you can keep taking that. And yeah, so it's working. So it's just the basic little camera app, really. Not very styled, but this was just a tutorial to get you, uh, just to let you know how to connect um, to your web cameras with JavaScript in the browser. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.